having difficulties going to the bathroom, at least your pet. In this edition of 3 Tip 3 Minute Tuesday, I'm going to be discussing the top three natural laxatives. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. Really, I'm okay. I just set this up for the video. I am sitting on the toilet, but I'm actually on the toilet. So what's the deal with constipation, hairballs? You guys are looking for some type of natural laxative. It's three minute Tuesday, putting three minutes on the clock starting now. See my rather plump cat down there? Yeah, he's constantly grooming himself, ingesting all that hair, and it can clump up. The poodle here with her new haircut, her fancy green bandana. She is more than occasionally eating things that potentially she shouldn't. She's out there straining to defecate. So what would you give this wild looking critter who's having a problem going to the bathroom? Well, I have three things for you. What could those three things be to uh, potentially something to eat? The first thing needs to be ground. It's so good for you. It smells good. Good for our pets. Number one is ground flaxseed. It's a great source of fiber. Also a really good source of essential fatty acids. Additionally, it has about four times the equivalent amount of fiber than would oatmeal have, or ground oats. We're looking at, here we have, I've just ground some fresh seeds. We're looking at doses at about a tablespoon per 40 pounds of body weight. So a little over a teaspoon for about 10 pounds of body weight. I'd be give, I would give Tula a big heaping teaspoon, which is about that. And that could be given twice daily. The next one, well, there's something that is often quite prevalent during Halloween. It could also be a super good source. Uh, fiber, great natural laxative. I know Tool is most interested. What could it be, Tula? There's a can opening, which means someone else is gonna come and visit. And his name is Murray, because he thinks it's more food, which it kind of is. It is canned pumpkin, a great natural laxative, uh, both for dogs and cats. One of the really good things is it's nutritious. Many cats really like it, as do many dogs. Here it is there, looking very orange and very pumpkin-y. Mm. I'll do a little taste test myself. Just like pumpkin. A simple, easy dose, about a teaspoon per 10 pounds of body weight. Let's give Tula a a little taste sample anyway, so she'll consume it. There's about half a teaspoon. There's your ground pumpkin. It can safely be, be done twice a day. Murray knows there's something up, right? This cat is smart. Not the tool is not smart. Uh, although, well, some people might say that. It's not true. But Murray, he knows like, oh, here my, mmm, look how yummy it is, canned pumpkin. Oh yes, you're on YouTube. Come on, you're gonna be a star. You're gonna eat the canned pumpkin and be famous. No, or what if I put it on your paw? Sometimes, you know, we're in the clinic, we're trying to get some of these cats to consume stuff. They didn't want to, we'd put it on their paw and they groom themselves. Oh, look how well that's working. You know what? Okay, Murray, come on and get it, get it, get it. Mm. Similar thing, and like the average cat would get about a teaspoon twice a day. Honestly, that does work for most cats. I just need to catch him eating it. He's grooming himself. Ha, huh, Murray, I knew I could catch you. And there was pumpkin on your left front paw. Mm -hmm. 
And the third remedy, while well, I'd have you conjure up images of palm trees, we could come off of some of those trees. Coconuts. What comes out of coconuts but this? Coconut oil. So the thing with the coconut oil is not all of it is gonna get absorbed. And historically, that's some of the issues with some of the other oils is you give them, your, get absorbed into your dog, your cat's stomach through the small intestine, can't act as laxatives. We need part of it to make its way through and actually help loosen things up and help move things out. And this can also do that. Meaning it's dose dependent, so not all of it gets absorbed. But it also means you gotta not be careful you don't overdose it and produce diarrhea. So, you know, a pretty typical dose, um, you know, somewhere around a half a teaspoon to one teaspoon per 10 pounds of body weight. And that can be given, you know, two to three times a day. You know, a dog that's seriously constipated, you wanna get stuff moving, likewise a cat, you might be doing that three times a day. But it's also easy to give. I'm gonna show you here. Here's approximately, probably close to a teaspoon. So I'm gonna give a little bit to Tula and just show you. I don't even have to like force it into her mouth. She'll consume it. Look, Tula. Oh, look. Ooh, it's actually for her, it's like a treat, the coconut oil treat. Again, you love coconut oil. Okay, it smells good. Love the smell of coconut. Especially when it's cold out. It was minus 23 at the ski hill this weekend. Dang cold. So nice to smell coconuts. Imagine you're somewhere tropical. So those are my top three natural laxatives, natural remedies to treat things such as hairballs. Thanks, Tula. And thank you guys for watching this edition of 3 Minute Tuesday. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information.